All right, Shalom, Brother Kabai back with another GMS lesson, GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekak, Kadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and Ruel. Well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, um, not quite sure I'm going to title this lesson. But it was along the lines of, uh, are you fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? <clears throat> All right. You so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. All right. Are you fearing the Heavenly Father, man? Because He has spirits out here, man. He has spirits out here that's ready to do the will of the Heavenly Father at the drop of a dime. Okay? So we're just going to go into fear, man. Okay? And we're gonna go into what the Heavenly Father is bringing, man. To the ones of our people, to the sinners of our people, they don't want to repent and turn back to the Heavenly Father. This is Sirach chapter thirty-nine, verse twenty-eight. It says, uh, "There be spirits that are created for vengeance." Okay, not for not for hugs. Not for a uh, uh, peace, but for vengeance, man. As you see on the screen, this was a death angel, man. Okay. This was a death angel that was taken uh, in uh, in Arizona, man. I don't know this is old, and this things came out like last year, but still, we have to remind our people that they need to be fearing the God of the Bible, man, because this is what He can bring to your doorsteps, man. This is what He can bring in front of you, man. But yet our people don't want to stop eating shrimp. They don't want to stop celebrating Thanksgiving. Because today is Thanksgiving, right? Or I say thanks stealing. Okay. Our people don't want to repent for those things. The Lord's gonna have spirits crave for vengeance creep upon you, man. This is Sirach 3928. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made him. So the, these spirits appease the wrath of the Heavenly Father, man. The Most High, Yahweh, who you ignorantly call God. That's his name in the ancient Hebrew, man. Okay? Now, what would you do if something like this comes outside your door? Those are homes out there, man. Those are homes, okay, that this, 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 this death angel is standing beside, man. You see, and you know, you know, you can't defeat nothing like this, man. Cause you can, look, this is spiritual, man. You know, fear the God of the Bible, man. This is your first time listening to the, uh, 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 the, um, you know, and you, you know, you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American. You, this is your first time coming across a Hebrews like video. Hey, look, <clears throat> first and foremost, fear, fear. Okay. It says verse 29. Fire and hell. Is you gonna have a lot of fires, man. Especially around this time of the year. You got people doing wickedly, wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. They setting up Christmas trees, <clears throat> which the Bible condemns. Alright? It tells you that in um, Jeremiah the tenth chapter. Okay. How's it being burnt down from all these Christmas lights up? Okay. Look, you got fires going on in California still, man. That that the E-Man e can't put out because it's all orchestrated by Yahweh by Shimmy I was shy. Once again, who the world can cause God and Jesus Christ. It says, and hell and famine. You see? The Lord's gonna bring a famine, man. You know? And death. All these were created for vengeance. You see? Vengeance, man. For the ones of our people that don't want to repent, man. They don't want to stop their wickedness, man. They, they just got to put the, the turkey on the table, right? They just got to get the cranberry sauce, right? When that goes in, the taking down of the of the natives, man. Gad Rubin, okay? It's a slap in the face to my people, man. It should be a slap in the face to you Israelites, man. Because Gad and Rubin, the Native Americans, are your brothers, man.
verse 30. It says, teeth of wild beast. You know, I just saw an article the other day where this pregnant woman got mauled to death, man. By, 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 by a dog, man. That's vengeance of the Lord, man. That's a spirit created for vengeance. Just like this spirit you see on the screen here, man. This should terrify our people, man. This should terrify the hell out of our people, man. It says, and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, which is any killer instrument, man, the E, man, punishing the wicked to destruction. Punishing the wicked to destruction, man. So why are you not fearing the Heavenly Father? Why? Why? You too good? You too cool? You too cool for school? You too cool to fear the God of the Bible? Well, that's the first thing you're supposed to be doing, man. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. And this scripture been coming out on a lot of brothers' pages, man. <laughs> Videos. The Lord, the Lord wants this heard, man. He wants it heard, man. This is... uh. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 Let us hit the conclusion of the whole matter What you Israelites supposed to be doing man These so called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible man Turn back to the Heavenly Father man This is the whole conclusion It says let us hit the conclusion of the whole matter Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 Fear the Most High Fear the most high fear the most high which is being uh terribly afraid of someone or something that can cause harm or danger and the heavenly father can do that okay it tells you that in first second first samuels no it's like it's second samuels the second chapter the sixth verse which all they get next it says fear the most high and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man this is the whole duty of you Israelites, man. It's to fear the Heavenly Father and keep His commandments. And to keep His commandments, man. So, um, damn, what I said I was going to get? Ah, oh, man, what I said I was going to get? Uh, it'll come back to me, but I'm going to read on down. It says, for the Most High shall bring every work into judgment. Everything you do, we're going to be judged for it, man. Why not be judged for righteousness, man? Doing what the Heavenly Father told you to do. With every secret thing. Every secret thing. Because the eyes of the Lord are in every place, man. It says, whether it be good or whether it be evil. You see? So let's... Um, <clears throat> can't remember that scripture. I just quoted it. Um, damn. Maybe I'll come back. Let's go to Sirach, man. You know, it's not going to be a long lesson. As most of my videos are not because Jake's attention span is not that uh, not that good. Um, this is Sirach 1 and 8. <clears throat> this whole chapter is good. Might just jump around in it. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get uh Proverbs, because this is this is a a heavy banger right here. It's a heavy banger. It says, The fear, Proverbs 1 and 7, of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools, but fools, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, man. So to fear your power, you Israelites, that's where knowledge starts, man. It don't start off with school. It doesn't start off with a higher education. Okay, it starts off with fearing your power, man. Knowing who you are. <clears throat> but fools despise wisdom and instruction, man. See, the ones of our people that don't want to hearken to the Heavenly Father, you consider the fool right about now. Block it, a meatball. You don't want to fear your power? You consider a dunce, a jackass, because those are some of the synonyms when you, when you look up that word fool, man. And you got to be, man. Oh, yeah. But why do you have by Shinya was shy? He had me remember the scripture. 
is 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 6. And why would you not fear a power that can do this right here? This is 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth and make of a lie. The Lord killeth and make of a lie. The Lord kills and makes a lie, man. Why are you not fearing, you Israelites? He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. The Lord make of poor and make of rich. He bringeth low and lift it up. Why are you not fearing an entity that can do those things, man? Because you got pride in you. And it was taught to you by the E-man. It was taught to you by the E-man. This is Sirach going back 1 and 8. There was one wise and greatly to be feared. And greatly to be feared. And greatly to be feared. You got to fear an entity that can bring something like this you see on the screen, man. What are you going to do when something like that is at your doorsteps in your backyard following you down the street, man? Because we're living in the days where that's going to happen, man. And the only one's going to see it is you. This is Sirach 1 and 8. There is one wise and greatly to be feared. The Lord sitting upon his throne. So why are you not fearing, man? The Lord taught us to not have any other gods before him. Don't do it, man. The Lord says he's a jealous power, man. The Lord gave us dietary laws to follow. Follow him, man. Okay? The Lord told us not to rush these pagan holidays. Don't do it, man. Don't do it, man. Repent and turn back. Let's find, let's find two more and wrap it up. Let's go to... Um, this is Sirach 1 and 21. The fear of the Lord drive away sins. See, when you feel what the Lord can do to you, have something like this creeping up behind you, when you fear the Lord, it's going to drive away the bull crap. It's going to drive away sins, man. It's going to drive them away, man. And let's get what sin is real crass. Just in case. Just in, like, 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 just in case you don't know. Because we all should know what sin is right, is right about now, right? Especially you churchgoers, right? You should know what sin is, right? It ain't running a red light, man. It ain't not giving a uh, 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 someone who's begging for food, food, man. All right. This is First John chapter three, verse four. It says, "Whosoever committeth sin, also transgresseth the law, for sin is the transgression of the law." So when you sin it, you transgression the law, man, which is still here, as it tells you in Matthew's the fifth chapter. Around the 17th verse, New Testament, okay? As also it tells you in Baruch, the fourth chapter, man. The laws are here and going to always be here, man. Okay? So the law ain't done away with, man. This is Sirach 1 and 21. The fear of the Lord drive away sins, man. And we just cleared up what sins is, man. Transgressing the law, statutes, commandments that the Heavenly Father gave the children of Israel. You can read about that in the Leviticus, the 26th chapter, man. Okay. It says, And where it is present, it turneth away wrath. So where that fear is present, the fear of, uh, uh, of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, it's going to turn away their wrath, man. The spirit you see on the screen was wrath created for someone, man. And they was just waiting. And they was just waiting, man. You know? Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, this is Sirach 2 and 8. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him. See? If you believe in the Lord, you're going to fear him, man. Because you believe in him. You believe in what he can do, man. We just read in uh, first Samuel, second chapter. He kills and make of alive. He break a, make a rich and make a poor. He bring them down low and lift it up. Why would you not fear an entity like that? That controls your life, man. You know? It says, ye that fear the Lord, believe him. And your reward shall not fail. So as long as you keep fearing and believing in the Lord, look, <laughs> your reward should not fail. And what's that reward? Being delivered, okay, out of this hellhole that we are in, man. Because this place is hell, man. Um, I'm going to leave off with this. This is Sirach 2 and 15. They that fear the Lord, not love. But they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. 
and they that love him will keep his ways. So with that, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Rekak, Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, teach us his truth, according to the Bible, and Haru well. I now shall want to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.